Feisty. This is a deep armchair. Takes a while to get out. You'd better tell her about the biscuit roll. What? She can't just go taking two at once like that. I'm guessing it belonged to, to his, his parents. Why don't you ask him yourself? He's usually in the library at this time of night, and I'm pretty sure he'll be less desperate for the lavatory than I am right now. How about, oh my god, Lucy, I'm so glad you're okay. Or, oh, I'm so relieved you're still alive. Oh my god, Lucy, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm so relieved you're still alive. That rogue sounds pretty cool. Blamed for Blaze kind of takes the shine off it. I think something's wrong with Lucy. We're all a little on edge today. She had a bath with her clothes on. 20 seconds, non metaphorical. Trousers are for wimps. Don't. Move. Please tell me it's a wasp. Oh, now we're gonna die. Oh, why must I be surrounded by Philistines? Keep it down, Kips. This is a library, not a braying gallery for bellends. They had four kids. Engineer, engineer, engineer. Weirdo. Glad you didn't get me fired. Well, that was more exciting than an early night. We should have people around more often. What's with the gloves? Stress cleaning. This is a screaming staircase. It's being very quiet. Maybe it's taken the night off. Probably wanted to warn us not to go down there. And now we're going down there. George. George! Oh. You're okay. Tree cuts. Lucy. Oh, where's his slack? You must be Lucy Carlyle. You know my name? Yep. Do you know my name? You know, I fired the fool that let you go. That's a shame. She was a fool, but she really fitted in there, actually. It was annoying, because you take the line, you take Kips's face, and you put them together, right? And you just want to watch him die. We're currently engaged in a major operation in Kensal Green Cemetery. But that's huge. Thank you. Pam usually susses at the... Who are they? Ghost cult. They think that instead of fighting visitors, we should be welcoming them in. They're the Venn diagram intersection for noisy, angry and deliberately thick. They're basically listeners too scared to pick up a rapier or too posh to need to. This lot, anyway. Highgate sensitives. That's completely disrespectful. Go write a poem about it. If we ever really get famous, he'll be absolutely unbearable. Unusual table you've got there. Uh, it's a catafalque, according to Joplin. God knows what it does. It's a lift to take coffins to the catacombs. Never normally say this, but you really shouldn't be using it to serve biscuits. We were talking just now, and not some random repeated death loop, an actual conversation with me. Is it talking to you now? Or going crazy? George, look at me! What the hell are you doing here? I didn't do that. Whatever it was that someone did. Unless Kareem has a better answer. Yes, I do, actually. You do? Yeah. You sure you do? I know who that man is. Blake did. But you've got no proof. Bobby. Just a hunch. Something I read in a book, if you remember those. We're working on it. We've already hired an Aramaic translator. They'll be glad of the work, but this is Phoenician. I'm just saying, since we're doing that... What's the other item? A possessed toothbrush? A mesmeric old boots? Georgie, where are you? I'm on a boat with a nut out. That's lovely. Bandit ran a nick of a drowned Dalmatian. <laughs> Who wore it best? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Oh, this is so touchy-feely. It's your medical necessity, George. Doesn't mean a thing. 